therapist Reva Cook is helping us tackle a hard topic today. Negative feelings about motherhood. Yes. Now, I love following you on Instagram. You're Thanks. so wise. I love what you post about motherhood. But this is something that we don't see a lot about online and we don't talk about. Right. It's hard for women to admit that sometimes they don't have really positive feelings about being a mom. It feels like if I admit that, maybe there's something wrong with me. Right. Right, so you want to help normalize this for women? Yeah, because everybody has times, thoughts where they don't enjoy mothering. Um, they, they have thoughts of like, I really don't like this kid right now. Yeah. Or like, did I make a mistake in becoming a mom? Right. I feel like I'm failing at becoming a mom. And I think almost every mom has hit a point where she's like, I kind of just want to run away. Yeah, you have to step away sometimes and get a little perspective and take a little break. It's really, it's really hard to balance the needs of caring for, for other people with your own. Because other people's needs aren't always convenient or well-timed, mm -hmm. so it can really wear on you. And this is something that you might not know about yourself until it happens, right? How could you know until you're in the thick of it? Yes. Hormones do crazy things. Yep. The uprooting of your life and the end yep. of your previous life are some are right. things you just don't know how they're going to affect you until you've got that newborn baby in your arms. Yep, or now, a toddler with their own mind. You were telling me, make sure you've got other things you do besides just just yeah. focusing 100% of yourself into your baby, right? We were talking about that, about how that can be a way that moms can handle the hard feelings is by kind of embracing their ands. I'm a mom and I do this. I'm a mom and I like that. And that helps you kind of expand out of that tunnel vision of this is all I'm doing because if you're only doing one thing all of the time it's gonna get exhausting I don't care yes. what it is yes <laughs> you can only play toys so much yeah now what would you say to the women who really do feel like I must be a horrible person and I'm the only mom who feels this way yeah so I think first of all you've got to see those feelings and acknowledge them um, be willing to look at those head on and realize that you are totally normal. There is nothing wrong with you if you're having a hard time with motherhood or having some hard thoughts or feelings about it. It's really, really normal. And then you wanna get curious about that. What's the context of my day and my life when I notice these hard thoughts coming up? Is it certain times of the day, certain times of the week? Did I feel this way six months ago? Get really curious and see what information you can gather about that because the information will lead you to problem solving. Yes. Then you can be like, what do I need to help me manage this? Maybe mm -hmm. I need to learn more about the developmental stage my child is in so I better understand their behavior. It's not quite so triggering to me. Yeah. And then that can kind of help us figure out what I can do about this, how I can get through and handle these hard feelings. So patience with yourself and Absolutely. educating yourself Sometimes is key. Sometimes the best you can do is work on self-compassion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being kind to yourself and your struggles. And also reminding yourself that when we see the perfect Instagram moms, that's just a small portion oh, of what is, is a brief real. snapshot. <laughs> well, people need to follow you because like I said, I love what you post. You've Thank helped you. me and inspired me a ton. So where can people find you? Reva Cook LCSW on Instagram and just Reva Cook on Facebook. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you.